Good morning, welcome to your morning manna. My name is Anna Wiggins, I'm on the teaching team. And this morning, you know, we've been in this for a couple days now, maybe it feels like weeks, maybe you feel like, is this ever going to end? Kids haven't been in school, schedules are a little crazy. This is not at all what you had planned, right? Maybe you're at a point where you say, I just can't do this anymore. A few months ago, I found myself in a season where everything was crazy. The schedule was nuts. I mean, burning the candle at all hours. And I remember in my devotions one morning, I just said, God, I can't do this anymore. The grace for this has lifted. And just like I said it to you, the Holy Spirit said to me, is my grace not sufficient for you? Oh, okay. So then I went to scripture and 2 Corinthians 12, nine says this, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness. It goes on to say, therefore I boast all the more gladly in my weakness so that Christ's power may rest on me. Today, you may feel like yesterday was the hardest day that you had faced and yet you've got to turn around and do it again today. You may feel like, I can't do this. And the truth is, we just don't want to do it. Our weaknesses start to show up. But God says to you, His grace is sufficient. That means everything that you need today, the grace that you need to speak life to your children, the grace that you need to keep your home running in order, the grace that you need to answer one more email and one more text message and keep going, that grace is available to you in Christ Jesus. Lamentations 3 reminds us that the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases and His mercies never come to an end. It says, they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. That means today, the mercies of God are brand new. They're available for you today. Maybe maybe you did run out of grace yesterday because maybe you didn't access it. Maybe you feel like, man, I messed up. Let me just encourage you today, His mercies are made new and His grace is sufficient. So may the Lord bless you, may He keep you, and may you experience His grace, supernatural provision and patience for everything that comes your way. I love you, and we'll see you again tomorrow morning.